thousands of kilometers away from Peru. A journey of over 24 hours by plane. That is where Japan is. That ancestral and millenary nation that represents one of the major economic powers in the world. Where traditional values are not part of the past, but they are essential pillars of their present. Some time ago, the Usil Corporation planted a seed of friendship and cooperation in this beautiful land. San Ignacio de Loyola team, led by our founding president, Raúl Díaz Canseco, and comprised by our executive president, Luciana de la Fuente, the Dean of the San Ignacio de Loyola University, Ramiro Salas, and Mrs. Patricia Rodriguez, we were received amidst a friendly and respectful environment, looking for new and better opportunities for our entrepreneurial youth. We visited the first educational center we had the great pleasure to see, the Tokyo Metropolitan University. In this meeting, we enjoyed the invaluable participation of El Ardescala, Peruvian ambassador in Japan at that time. We were very satisfied with this meeting, which established without a doubt the beginning of new relations with our Japanese peers. On the following day, we visited the Tokyo Institute of Technology, an important educational institution which was at the end of celebrating that the last Nobel Prize of Medicine had been granted to one of their professors, cellular biologist Yoshinori Oshumi. This distinguished researcher teaches here it was incredible to establish institutional ties with this brilliant team. It was a great honor. Hours later, we did not miss the opportunity to meet with Akira Fujishima, president of the Tokyo University of Science, a distinguished center for university studies of science. It must be stated that Fujishima is recognized for his great discoveries. Our schedule in Japan took us from Tokyo to Osaka in the emblematic bullet train. The final flourish of our journey last year took place in Kindai University, a recognized educational institution whose essential principle is to learn for the real world. Both intellectual and emotional intelligences are cultivated in students of this Japanese university. For me, the first time here in Japan, uh -huh. and I really am so impressed because it's a very big opportunity to the, our students, to our teachers, to work together and to make research together in different areas. And thank you, Mr. Thank President, you. for thank you. Yes. Please enjoy staying in Osaka. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> in Japan. Before returning to Peru, we visited Nara, one of Japan's most traditional cities. The ancient temples and ruins of Nara are simply astonishing and are part of the world's heritage recognized by UNESCO. Our journey in 2016 motivated us to make another visit this year. We packed our luggage convinced that the distance, the cultural barriers, and the language are no obstacle to establish significant ties with the best members of the Asian academic community. We had been in China during the first days of May, and from there we departed towards Japan. Once again, the country of temples and shrines gave us a warm welcome. The mythical nation of cherry trees and sacred summits opened its arms to us again. Raúl Díaz Canseco, Luciana de la Fuente, Ramiro Salas, and our brand new Dean of the College of Engineering, Gustavo Cato, arrived to Tokyo. A special mention to the latter, whose perfect command of the Japanese language made our visits and rounds easier. On Saturday, May 6, upon our arrival, we held a fruitful meeting with the president of Disneyland Tokyo, Kiyoshiro Wenishi. The goal of the meeting to promote a strategic agreement that allows for a San Ignacio de Loyola student to be wherever Disney stands. Our entourage, 
was enhanced by the presence of the current ambassador of Peru in this country, Harold Forsyth. On Monday, May 8, we had an important meeting in the Peruvian Embassy building with Yoko Kabakushi, manager of the Latin American Affairs Office of the University of Foreign Sciences of Tokyo. This meeting gave birth to the idea of establishing a Peruvian-Japanese Center of Higher Studies. Later, the San Ignacio de Loyola delegation met with Yukio Hattori, who not only is one of the best chefs in Japan and a recognized television commentator, but has also earned a PhD from the University of Showa. Hattori is also the president of the Hattori Nutrition College. The meeting with him was transcendental due to the exchange of ideas and projects. Another significant appointment was the one we were able to set with the president of the Tokyo Kisei University, Kazuito Yamamoto, and the president of the Shigeyuki Suzuki International Center. The mutual interest on education, science, nutrition, and technology shows us that we took the first step that will enable us to conclude institutional agreements and accords. A day later, on Tuesday, May 9, we visited the University of Tsukuba. Its highest representatives were kind enough to receive us and invite us to walk through their different facilities. We were astonished to see Cyberdin, their cybernetic research center. Here, it is incredible to find a great number of devices and articulated robotic machines designed to help people to live better. Such as these biocybernetic legs with neuroelectric impulses that can be moved, listen carefully, with just your thoughts. In the University of Tsukuba, we also visited the International Institute for Integrative Sleep Medicine an institution dedicated to the diagnosis and treatment of sleep disorder. As an additional fact, we can comment that it has been determined that governments lose millions of dollars because their populations suffer from sleep disorders, and these could be avoided. On Wednesday, May 10, the Peruvian representatives arrived to the Imperial University of Tokyo. It was a great honor to be received in the most prestigious educational center of Japan and one of the most recognized universities in the world. Our most sincere gratitude to the vice president of this university, Masashi Aneda, who gave us a warm welcome. The Usil tour continued in the Tokyo University of Agriculture. We were pleasantly impressed by the research conducted on the energetic potential and healing effects of different native agricultural products. However, it is not the only thing we should tell you about. The Peruvian-Japanese relation continues in our Peru. Only a few days ago, we were in the Honda Motorcycle and Tuk Tuk Factory located in Iquitos. We traveled to our country's jungle promoting internships and job insertion for young people who are part of the Beca 18 scholarship program, a government program that allows thousands of young Peruvians with scarce resources to pursue university studies, a task personally taken on by our founding president, who has been going around Peru with this purpose. After these pleasant encounters, both in Japan and Peru, we can ensure that we're on the right track. We are proud of having made new and good friends, of the fact that the land of the rising sun has opened new horizons in the university academics world. We are happy about our students having the possibility to travel and receive information in Japan itself. We are Usil, entrepreneurs molding entrepreneurs and we will continue to work hard to be at the vanguard of world education arigato japan